In Puerto Rico, a humanitarian catastrophe continues to unfold 12 days after Hurricane Maria struck the island. Over the weekend, the Pentagon said the percentage of Puerto Rico's 3.5 million residents without access to clean drinking water rose to 55 percent. Only 5 percent of the island has electricity, while food and fuel remain scarce, and about half the island's roads are impassable. This is Miriam Rodriguez, a resident of the city of Caguas. This is a, a very disaster. I have no water and very I have I'm back buying food because I don't have a generator. My husband has a mother sueño. I don't know how I get a machine for to have some air in my in my home. But I want to tell my family in Chicago that we're doing well, but it's, it's very disaster because this is the first time I'm crying. I have been crying for a long time. <laughs> On Thursday, acting Homeland Security Secretary Elaine Duke called the Trump administration's response to the disaster, quote, really a good news story. That prompted the San Juan mayor, Carmen Yulín Cruz, to retort, this is not a good news story, this is a people are dying story. Cruz later pleaded for the world to come to Puerto Rico's aid in an impassioned news conference. We are dying here, and I cannot fathom the thought that the greatest nation in the world cannot figure out logistics for a small island of 100 miles by 35 miles long. So I am asking the President of the United States to make sure somebody is in charge that is up to the task of saving lives. President Trump responded to Mayor Cruz on Saturday morning, tweeting from his golf resort in Bedminster, New Jersey, quote, The mayor of San Juan, who was very complimentary only a few days ago, has now been told by the Democrats that you must be nasty to Trump. Such poor leadership ability by the mayor of San Juan and others in Puerto Rico who are not able to get their workers to help. They want everything to be done for them when it should be a community effort. 10,000 federal workers now on island doing a fantastic job, he tweeted. Trump later dedicated a trophy at the President's Cup golf tournament to hurricane victims. Trump's response to the hurricane drew widespread disbelief and condemnation. Many noted Trump used racially coded language to talk about Puerto Ricans, implying they're lazy. California Democratic Congress member Ted Lieu tweeted, Dear Donald Trump, U.S. citizens in Puerto Rico need water, food, oxygen tanks, medicine, but not a golf trophy. You still don't get it. End quote. 